Hi everyone, today I'm going to run you through some new functionality in Simpro that allows you to automatically archive quotes and jobs that are inactive in your Simpro build for a certain period of time. So this could be a really useful tool for archiving quotes that are not getting looked at automatically to keep your quote list looking nice and fresh and current and also give you a little bit of extra reporting availability as to why you're not winning your quotes. So let's jump into the system setup and have a look at how this works. So in the system setup, we are going to go right down the bottom to the archive reasons and we're going to jump into quotes for now. So in here, this gives you the ability to customize some reasons that you can select from when you archive a quote in your Simpro build. So there are a couple in here that are already listed by Simpro and you can add these, you can edit them and change the wording and you can actually remove them to really be tailored to your business and the reasons why you would not be winning quotes. So feel free to change those around, create a different one over here and we might put um, archived due to inactivity as a bit of a reason as well. Okay, so once we've got that list down pat in terms of what your business needs, we've got this brand new auto archive feature down the bottom. So what used to happen is we would never have any archiving ability, but now we can turn this on and type in the number of days that we want to say, okay, well, if this quote hasn't been touched or looked at or, you know, opened or edited by anyone in our Simpro build, we actually want Simpro to archive that automatically. And we can even choose the reason why that quote would be archived. So we're going to click save in here. And so just remember that this is a really good feature, even if you don't want to do the auto archiving, a good reminder to come in and have a look at those quote reasons that you've got set up and make sure that they are really relevant to what you're looking at. So there are a couple of different reports in Simpro that you can pull to see this information and you can set them up to be scheduled reports as well. So I guess the most common one that I would use to see this would actually be the quote activity report. So if I click on quotes and come down to the quote activity, this will show me all of the quotes lost uh, based on the date that they're created. Um, and I might say a particular date range that I want to see that. So what that's going to do is list out a whole heap of quotes for me and the reason why I've lost them and also show me some pricing information as well. But we can actually take this one step further and use Simpro's BI reporting tool where we can build our own reports to see a lot more visually why we're losing quotes and what type of quotes they are. So in Simpro BI reporting, I've just done a quick couple of quick demos to show you the possibility. So obviously you can set this up company-wide, you could set it up um, to report on a particular salesperson as to why they might be losing quotes. You can compare salespeople. You can look at a particular customer and if you've got a high volume customer, why they're not going ahead with quotes. A whole heap of available reporting that you can build really tailored to what your business needs to see. But here's two of the same report that I built in two visually different formats. So this is looking at uh, my quotes and why they've been archived. And so you can see here I've had 16 quotes archived in my Simpro build and it actually breaks it out into a bit of a colorful wheel where I can see, okay, uh, user error was two of them and that's 12.5% of the total. Uh, over here, a decision still pending. Uh, there's only one of those that have been archived due to that. And that's 6.25% of my total archive quotes. So a nice little pie graph over here. I've also got a bit of a waterfall graph over here. I think this is a really nice way to quickly see. Um, okay, we've had 16 quotes in total archived and the majority of them are actually lost to a competitor. So it just gives a little bit of a visual um, stepping stone to see you know, out of the total, how much per archive reason. So that's your quick Simpro tip and trick for today. Have a look at this new functionality and work out if it could be valuable for your business to automatically archive quotes and keep your quote list looking nice and fresh. Um, and if you don't want that, have a look at your archive reasons and make sure they're set up to be tailored to your business and make sure you're getting some really valuable reporting on those so that you can actually see why you're losing your quotes in Simpro. My name's Kelly from Modus Operandi. Thanks for joining me for today's Simpro tips and tricks. I hope you got a lot out of that. If you do need any assistance with your Simpro build from anything from system optimization, training, and also some ad hoc works like some nice, pretty new custom forms, don't hesitate to reach out to MO on the email address or number on your screen.